Yes, this is good news. After watching the debate of Muhammad Hijab versus David Wood, one Muslim has left Islam and accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, one brother of Muhammad Hijab, the brother in faith according to Quran, the believer brother, has left Islam and now he is our Christian brother. How it happened, I want to show you his clip and want to explain it to you how it happened. Muhammad Hijab he has spoken lies upon lies in the debate with David Wood. But by mistake, he has spoken one truth about Allah. And that one truth has collapsed, has destroyed the first pillar of Islam, which is Tawheed. Muhammad Hijab hammered that Tawheed, the pillar of Tawheed, with truth. And he has spoken that truth by mistake. If he may know what would cause that truth, he may not speak about that truth. And how it happened? When you are standing in front of an experienced debater, it happens. You lose your temper. When you lose your temper, you lose your mind. When you lose your mind, you lose your senses. When you lose your senses, you do not know what is the question and what is the answer. That is what happened in that debate. So, without wasting further time, the Islam wants to punish these two, Muhammad Ajab and Ali Dawa, because of speaking one truth about Allah. And what is that? We are going to hear that right now. They want to repent on their truth because they learned only how to speak lie from Islam. But now, I'm telling you, Ali Dawa and Muhammad Hijab, this is your time to repent. Yes, I'm telling you, this is your time to repent. Islam and Muslims, they are not going to forgive you for speaking one truth about Allah, which is causing damage to Islam, to the Tawheed of Allah and Quran. Now, let's go to that clip, what happened this brother, Muslim brother, after watching the debate of Muhammad Hijab and David Wood, what he did, he tried to contact brother Christian Prince and watched his videos in response to those debate, to that debate, and he raised some questions in front of brother Christian Prince after having discussion. He accepted Jesus as his personal Savior and Lord. Let us hear that point where he is discussing, uh, having discussion on the debate with Christian Prince. Where you will understand what is the one point, one truth that Muhammad Hijab has spoken in the debate. By mistake, I'm telling you, he has spoken that truth by mistake. Let us hear that, what this brother, brother Abdullah is saying. And the title of the video is in front of you. I'm just highlighting that short clip of his testimony and acceptance. But you can watch the whole video. Let us hear that. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the video you made about the debate between Muhammad Hijab and uh, Dr. Wood. Mm. What do you think about the hijab? He said that Allah he pray for, not pray to. 
that's I saw he made a another video where he he was just trying to explain it. Um, but the the in that one, I don't remember what surah it was in, but he said that the the meaning was that it, Allah is praying on someone. But I was thinking that praying on someone is like the same thing as praying for someone. So yeah, I made a video about that one too because here 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 he himself get busted more because uh, still is the same. You see, David Wood he did not say to him, Allah he pray for worshiping Muhammad. David Wood he was saying to him, Allah he pray. So how he pray? So he confirmed that twice, once in the debate and once in the video you saw. So this guy he confirmed twice. He tried to fix it. He make it blind. That Allah he pray and now the question is okay you believe that Allah is God and we believe in Tawheed which means you are claiming that Tawheed mean so this is what happened that one truth is enough to collapse Islam and one truth is enough for a Muslim to get set free yes let us now hear where he has accepted Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior praise Lord hallelujah and if you want to hear watch this whole clip the title is in front of you except I mean to that hallelujah I'm so happy for you uh, Abdullah and uh, 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 the Bible says that the happiness in the kingdom of God will be just for one person is saved so let me call you brother Abdullah from now on brother Abdullah I want you to say that I accept the Messiah as my personal Savior and by him and by his name and by him only I will be saved say that my friend I accept him and his name and accept him as my personal Lord and Savior I mean to that hallelujah happy for you my friend Trust me, each time I hear one of, of our brothers accepting the Messiah, I feel like my, my body as if I am truly shaking, as if I'm really like there is there is something happening. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. And I am sure that's you inside you. You will have you will have the same feeling. So the one who is watching, now I'm talking to you. What are you thinking? Use your brain, use your mind, use your heart. Lord has given you all these senses to think, to understand, to know the truth. The truth has reached you, my Muslim brother and sister. As brother Abdullah, he has used his brain, his mind, his heart. And he started thinking about this. How does Allah can pray? The Tawheed of Islam, Quran and Allah collapses here, destroys here, becomes null and void. So, are you willing to follow Abdullah and get yourself free? from the falsehood of Islam as truth has reached you and truth has the ability and power in it to set you free if you are willing to accept it. God bless you. Amen.